Welcome to our lecture online. In this example, it becomes quickly clear that using Green's theorem is really the way to go because if you try to solve this problem using a line integral, then you would have to do it four times because there's four lines. And if you look at the integrand, this looks quite complicated. And integrating e to the x squared, for example, that would give you quite a challenge. But let's see what we can do you applying Green's theorem. So we identify P, which is this portion right here, and we identify Q, which is the portion right there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to find the partial of Q with respect to X and subtract from that the partial of P with respect to Y. So going over here, this is Q. We're going to take the partial derivative of this with respect to X, which means since this is a function of Y, that's a constant and goes to zero. And so we end up with simply 2x. Subtracting from that, we're going to take the partial derivative of this with respect to y. This becomes a constant, so this is simply a 1. And that means that this can then be solved by saying I'm going to take the double integral over the region enclosed by that path of the partial of q with respect to uh, x minus the partial of p with respect to y times dA, which now we realize is going to be equal to the double integral of 2x minus 1 times dx dy over the region enclosed by that. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to take a small little dA, which is equal to dx times dy, and we can integrate first in the y direction and then in the x direction it doesn't really matter if we start off with the y direction then well let's see here I have an x already I can go ahead and integrate in the x direction so we can go like this first and then we can integrate in the y direction it really doesn't matter so let's do that let's integrate this first in the x direction so x is going to be from 2 to 5 so it will be from 2 to 5 in the x direction, and in the y direction it will be from, oh, let's, I'll take that back, from 1 to 5, not from 2 to 5, from 1 to 5, and then in the y direction from 2 to 4. Okay, so first integral, so we still have from 2 to 4, this is in the y direction, y equals, integrate in the x direction, we get 2x squared over 2 minus x, of course the 2's cancel, evaluate it from x equals 1 to x equals 5 and then we still have dy for our second integral. Now we notice that we have both the upper and the lower limit to contend with. So this is equal to plugging, well first let's put the integral sign down so from y equals 2 to y equals 4. Plugging the upper limit we get 25 minus 5 and now subtract from that when plugging the lower limit which is 1 minus 1. So this goes to 0 and that leaves us with 20 and we still have a dy here. So this is equal to, if we're then going to simplify that, it's going to be the integral from 2 to 4 of 20 dy. Of course the 20 can go outside the integral sign. When we integrate that, this becomes equal to 20 times y evaluated from 2 to 4 which is equal to 20 times 4 minus 2 or 40. Again, let's check the sign because when we use Green's theorem, we need to be aware that we have either positive or negative orientation. But in this case, since the path is taken in a counterclockwise direction, that's considered a positive orientation, which means we do not need to change the sign. This one will then be the correct answer for this particular line integral. And that's how it's done.